Hey guys, how you been doing today? That's good. So, the reason why I did all this, uh, made everything dark, is to be a little moody. Uh, for this topic I really want to talk about, uh, which is the Midnight, uh, Club show, the Netflix show. Mmm. Bruh. That show was so bad. I was bored. I was hungry. I was getting angry. I want to punch someone. I was like in two episodes in, and I was just like, nah, buddy. Nah. This show is trash. Trash. Get out of my face. Like, man. Uh, like, I was just trash on everything. The only thing was good in that garbage show was literally just the house the house or the place they were in it like it looks good it looks really beautiful but i feel like that's the only thing that was like the budget it was in like that's it and then yeah it was just wasn't for me like man it just wasn't good at all like they just don't know how to make a proper like horror like tragedy show um which is you know uh, so if you guys gonna watch it, uh, be prepared for yourself, cause you're gonna laugh a lot. It's not horror. It's a it's a good comedy. It's a good comedy show. It's like Jeepers Creepers all over again. Uh, anyways, so so I wasn't looking. So I, yeah, I wasn't looking forward to Wednesday. In fact, I actually put I slept on it for quite a while uh, until my mom and others recommend me. It's like, hey, this is good. This is a good show and so. So I was like, okay. Well, I believe them, you know. They haven't let me down so far, so. Uh, a little, my mom literally made me watch that show, the other show, and yeah. It's just like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty scary, alright. It was actually, it was just an absolute, it was just a piece of shit. It was, that's why it was so scary. Oh, man. But true. But seriously, fuck that show. If you have all those cats or anyone's trying to defend the show, you're gonna catch his hand. <laughs> I'm gonna punch you in your face and, and waste a lot of motherfucking time. Oh, uh, shit. I love horror, you know? I absolutely adore horror and stuff. So the fact that, like, they fa they completely fucked me over like that and just, like, give me the most stupidest generic jump scares. Like, shit out of, like, 1920s. It's like, stop it. Get out of my face. Please. However, um... Uh, the new Pinocchio movie? Oh my fucking god. That was a fucking good movie. That was a... Mwah, good. That, that put that Disney reboot to, movie to shame. Like, Disney should be embarrassed. Should be fucking ashamed of what they created. Guillermo del Toro... Mm, dude, you did a fucking banger of a movie. Like... Well done, man. Like, dude, that movie got me in tears. Like, in happy tears and stuff. And it made me have an emotional connection to Pinocchio. Have all the characters. Um, and I love the actor who, who played Geppetto. Uh, who play, who's the actor who played Harry Potter, the janitor dude. Uh, the caretaker guy. The one with the cat. Uh, I had no idea that was even him. That was even cooler. And, man, that song was so good. Uh, the songs are really good, and the, yeah, everyone did such an amazing job. Uh, the stop motion animation was amazing, amazing. And I love Pinocchio's design, and it just looked like a really obnoxious big anime, uh, kid, you know? He had, he looks like a wooden pumpkin boy, and I like it. I like the way he looks and stuff. Um, and then, <clears throat> I also love... Uh, some of the dialogue and stuff, how, like, there's a lot of, and especially how it takes place during the Italy, like, World War Two era, which I like. I like that's, you know, that's what it takes place in and stuff. And I absolutely love how the fairy looks. She literally looks like the biblical accurate of angels and stuff. Um, I love all, everything about the movie. I really had no complaints whatsoever. Um, so it was a banger movie. Uh, so, Guillermo, if you're going to continue making, like, these kids' movies like these, please, please make them as good as Pinocchio. Please, I beg of you. 
Just make them as good as this shit. As long as you keep making banger movies like that, then I'm a happy camper. Uh, I haven't watched his TV show, uh, Kevin something. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Because Elvis the Alien was talking about that. So I was really... So I'm pretty stoked about that. So looking forward for that one too. Um, and then I also watched the new Wednesday show, Back Topic. So I, put, I fell asleep on Wednesday show for quite a while. Because uh, I just thought it was just going to be really bad. It's going to be just going to be shit. Now, a lot of people have complaints about how generic the show is. How generic the script is and all that stuff. How it was very predictable and all that. For me, uh, it doesn't really bug me. I didn't really, really notice it. Because really, I was just enjoying the absolute fun dialogue of Wednesday. Dude, her character is way more fun than fucking She-Hulk. Dude, She-Hulk was fucking bland and is such an asshole. Like, I didn't give a fuck about her. Wednesday, queen. Awesome lady. She's just... Her insults are fucking fire. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I was like, noop noop from Rick and Morty. Every time she says anything, it's just like, God damn. God damn. <laughs> Dude, your fucking insults are so good. Oh, man. And then, um, and then, like, the story, and, like, how she's, like, like, fucking Velma, or the girl with the dragon tattoo, basically. Uh, like, she's trying, she's so obsessed with investigating shit. I mean, to be fair, she is working on a novel that's about investigating stuff. So maybe this could be her inspiration and stuff and all that. You know, I get that. Um, <sighs> oh shit, sorry. Um, certain characters uh, I like, uh, like Eden. I I thought everyone didn't was it a lot of people didn't really weren't really a big fan of her character. For me, I don't really mind. I think she's a little sweet little lady, little little cute little cutie little lady. Um, you know. I love that everyone's just trying to ship her on Wednesday. It's like, no. I, like, the very first intro, where her, Wednesday's reaction, it's like, that is not love. That is fear. Like, ew, what the fuck? If, what the fuck are you roommate with me? It's like, man. <laughs> yeah, that is fear. Like, same thing I'm afraid of seeing a homeless person. It's like, nah. Nah. I ain't fuck with that. Like, that is, yeah, that is my reaction with that. So... Uh, yeah, and so I'm hoping the actress uh, who played Wednesday isn't going to be stressed out, uh, because considering she's young as fuck, like 20 and stuff, and I'm 23, but it's still stressful as hell when the internet and all these fans are going to go, like, they're trying to ship for her and stuff, make her, like, a les make saying, like, oh, she's a lesbian and stuff, and I'm like, shut up. She choose what she wants to be, like, stop it. Like, there's, yeah, I don't understand why everyone's so obsessed with that, with that weird thing. It's like, that is her decision. It is not your guys' decision. And, and what kills me is that Tom Hardy became gay. And I'm like, are, are you doing that just to please people? Or are you doing that just because you really, you really feel that way? I hope it's really what he really feels that way. And not because what people should, he should be doing. It's like, no, I don't find that's okay. I feel like that's really twisted i feel like that's very forced you know what i mean but i'm hoping hopefully she's you know she choose what she wants to do you know uh hopefully she's not like too rattled of all this all this like a toxic fan base and stuff so um, i'm hoping that won't be the case i'm not saying be the fan of the show or whatever being the make a fan art and stuff there's nothing just don't be an asshole about it. Don't be a fucking crazy psychopath about it. All right. Don't do crazy wild shit like that. You know what I mean? Just be tame. Just be chill. You know. Just work on your own stuff and say, "Hey, I'm a big fan of your work and stuff." You know, and just saying cool stuff about it. You know, positive as shit. Yeah, spread positivity. That's all you need to do. That's all you can do. Just say good, give her good vibes and stuff, so she's confident to continue doing this shit. You know. Because the last thing I want is her ass is just no longer doing the show because she's just really uncomfortable of, like, the toxic fan base. So I'm just hoping that won't be the case, you know, because I'm looking for for season two. You know, I'll check it. I'll watch her, her watch, continue having her ass in the show, continue roasting, continue fucking saying the most meanest shit ever. Like, her dog really is just fun. Like, she doesn't even feel like she's an asshole. She just feels like she's honest. She's going to say how she feels. 
like without filtering herself. She's not dishonest. She's gonna be straight up honest with you. Just like, yeah, okay, whatever. You guys are a disgrace for kidnapping. You make you make <laughs> kidnappers. You make it a disgrace to kidnappers everywhere. It's like, goddamn. <laughs> oh shit. But anyways, uh, like, and it's also like where she's from. She's kind. It's kind of like Monster High, but like Hogwarts and stuff. Now that's cool and all, but it's like there's not a lot of like interesting like creatures or groups and stuff. Yeah, there's like the fucking stoners, which is the Gorgons. It's like, oh yeah, so cool. Um, and then the other one was the werewolves, one was the vampires, and one was the sirens. I swear, we barely even pay attention to nothing, none of these groups. We didn't see nothing of these groups. All we focus on is just Wednesday, Eden, and the, the siren lady. And this other guy, and the the, the Starbucks guy. <laughs> I know they have names, but I don't know what their names. All I do, I just don't pay attention to their names. Um, I know her name. The siren lady is Bianca. Is that her name? Is something like that? I don't know. Um, but yeah, like, uh, especially, I love a uh, thing. I love uh, Uncle Fester. Dude, that guy did such a good job as playing Uncle Fester. And I hope we get to see him more. Uh, hopefully we get to see Cousin It. And hopefully we will have him rap. Like in that one movie. That garbage movie. It, get out of my face. No, I just want him to just talk weird. Just talk, him, just talk in his native tongue. The, <laughs> you know, just make him do that shit. And I'm fine with that. I'm happy with that. So I find them very intriguing without him rapping or talking. It'd just be weird. Uh, so just hoping they do that. You know. Otherwise, I'm a happy camper. Um, uh, Tim Burton, I was surprised he wanted to make a TV show. Because so, I'm so used to him doing movies and stuff. Um, which, it's an interesting turn and stuff. And I could see he could do either certain elements of, of, his, of his creativity. Like the monster, for instance. He lo it literally looks like a Tim Burton monster. However, my only gripes is, is I wish that was stop motion and not CGI. Because I felt like it would be a lot cooler if that was stop motion. You know what I mean? Like that Nightmare Before Christmas style or the Beetlejuice style with the sandworm. I would love to see that. But that's just, that's just me. Um, <clears throat> and then, what else? Oh yeah, the, the TikTok dance thing. Uh, what's cool about that dance is that it's inspired, she got inspiration from the old Wednesdays, uh, like the black and white one, how she, when she was dancing, and then the, um, the other, the movies one where she was dancing and stuff, like she combined those and stuff, like that was cool, I like that, I had no idea, um, which that was dope, I could see that now, because if you watch the black and white one, you could see a really interesting comparison, uh, but yeah, uh, anyways, yeah. So far, uh, show is pretty good. I had a good time with it. it. I didn't feel like it was slow, nor it was like, uh, like it felt like my ass was hurting while I've been watching the whole show. No, it, it felt really good. It felt like, you know, everything was just going. It was just go, go, go. Just get over with, you know? Which I like it. I, I like that, you know, when shows in, are not like a slow pace, because goddamn, they're so long. Um, which I'm not much of a big show guy. I'm more of a movie guy. Um, but that's just me, though. Um, which, and then, uh, what else? Oh, um, so I watched the, the two uh, horror movies, which is X and uh, Pearl. Now, I had no idea that these two movies were even fucking connected until one of the people were, tell were telling me about it. It's like, hey there's these two movies that are connected and all that stuff. So I was like, ah, oh, shit, really? And I was, I was actually, I was actually conflicted. I was like, whoa, what the f Wait a minute, but that was like months ago. And that was like, that reminded me of uh, Scream. How Scream 5 is already released. And then they're already making it in six, Scream 6. I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm not complaining about that at all. And the fact that uh, the actress who played Wednesday is not only in X, but she's literally in two of the other movies, which... I'm really need to, I really want to watch that now because uh, the actress is really nice. Uh, anyways, uh, so 
X was actually really interesting. It actually reminded me a lot of uh, the Granny movie, or the game, sorry. Uh, the video game Granny, except as like a horror movie. And I love the way they do with the cinematography and the like the audio. It sounds like 1970s like audio, which I like. It's a really interesting like style. Um, and the fact that they're making a porno and stuff, it's just like okay, bruh. Um, and then the actress who play the main character and the old lady, uh, they she did such a great job as playing these two characters. It's just so creepy. Um, uh, and I love the dad, the, the grandpa dude, um, uh, and I love the, uh, my, the porn star guy. I was like, oh man, my boy, he, like, he, I feel bad when he got killed. Like, he's the only one, he, he's honestly one of my favorite characters. Cause, like, the fact that he's, like, Marines and stuff, and he's, like, from Vietnam, and he's just such a cool, like, chillax guy, and he's the one that gets... Anyone, he's the one to get the ladies, and yeah, so I really feel bad for him. Poor guy. Uh, I wasn't really a big fan of the main character, per se. When I don't know, I just wasn't fond of her. Uh, the twist of the ending of it, though, was really interesting. Um, it was, it was really cool. And then I watched Pearl, Pearl was a really interesting movie. Uh, it's a type of movie that's like. Kind of reminds me of Joker, but this one's like a very interesting like take on her on this granny character. Um, how it takes place like when she was hella young and stuff, um, and it was like during the Spanish flu and all that stuff. Like it was really good. I really liked the movie so far. Uh, all the movie and all this movie and all that stuff. Um, how like her get to know her parents were like all that stuff. How this responsibilities and all that, and then. Yeah, she was just really unnerving and stuff. She was just, like, not well in the head. And she's very selfish. And you could see that in through the scenes and stuff. How she's very self-centered and stuff. Um, which is, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I, yeah, so I really have a good time with both of those movies. Um... So I'm very curious about what the director is going to do next. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, and then uh, I have some a few other movies I'm going to check out too. Uh, I heard Avatar was really good and stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. So. Um, oh. Uh, God of War Ragnarok. Dude, that game was a fucking banger. Like, oh my god, the story was so good. A lot of people were complaining about, like, Odin was, like, a looks like Godfather or a fucking teacher. Now, <laughs> I'm not complaining. He does look like a fucking teach a school teacher. But at the same time, I don't mind that. Because it's a very interesting turn to his vil to his character. And the fact that Odin is, like, this sweet, softened, like, villain... Where he easily can manipulate the Atreus and stuff. Like, it was really good. I love the villains in the game. Um, and I love the, like, how everyone has, like, uh, issues and stuff. And they evolve. They adapt and stuff. Like, it got me emotional a couple of times in certain scenes and stuff. Uh, which is really rare. I rarely get any emotions. Uh, or get, you know, don't really cry like a little bitch. You know, and stuff. Um... So, yeah, and I, the game was really good and all that stuff. I had a really good time and all that. Um, yeah, so not really much to say uh, about that game. Besides good positives and all that stuff. Uh, uh, yeah. And then... What the f... Oh, Outlast Trials. Uh, so, my gripes... I'm not a big fan of that game. Like, I didn't felt the same as Outlast 1 and a Whistleblower, or even Outlast 2, which a lot of people weren't really a big fan of because of its ending and stuff, um, which is, it's whatever, you know, it, it is what it is, um, but everyone's, but I wasn't really a big fan of it, it's like a, a Bioshock co-op game, eh, it's whatever, but I'll still check it out, I'll still watch it, the stuff. 
and see how it is as a game and all that. I'm still looking forward to it. But, um, yeah. So, not much to say besides, uh, that's all I gotta say, you know. But, uh, I'll probably make some other videos and stuff. I know I haven't been making a lot of videos and stuff. I've just been really busy. I'm tired as fuck right now. Uh, and I've just been working on this big-ass project. And my roommates are wreaking havoc again. Uh, so I hope you guys have a good time, <laughs> time of the videos. Uh, if you do, if you like this video, if you want to give me more love and support, uh, then please subscribe and stuff. I make this, I make this type of content for free. Um, uh, I don't really make money off of it. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, so if you guys, uh, want to see more, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, leave comments below, see what your thoughts, uh, what I said about all these movies. Do you agree with them? Do you hate me because I disagree with you? Let me know. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on this. Alright. Bye-bye.